Hey guys, it's been a while, but Devin and I are back on the job. We are um, in the Emerald City, 7th Avenue Church, and we're doing a quick and dirty, uh, well hopefully not too dirty, <laughs> uh, projection system installation. So, we have two screens, 100 inch diagonal. Got two projectors, two projector mounts, some equipment down in here, and some equipment down in here. So what we're doing is we're putting a screen right there, and we're putting a screen right there. And then we're gonna run cables down and underneath, because under the floor that I'm standing on is um, the fellowship hall that runs pretty much the length and width of the sanctuary here. And that has a drop ceiling. So we're gonna run that through. And then we're gonna run that back to that booth right there. If I can get it level. Which is the video booth. So, then we're gonna come up the, through the floor and then, uh, you know, into the various equipment to distribute the signal. So they also got a new iMac <coughs> uh, to drive it with ProPresenter and Oh, one other thing. So they have a stage display right back there. But it's not centered over the door because the old projector is there. So uh, one of the things that they'd like us to do once we get you know the main stuff done is to drop that projector and move the TV over to the center. So if we have time, we'll do that. But uh, this is also going to be um, a tutorial video on how to set up um, our prepackaged 100 inch ultra short throw laser based uh, projection system that we have for sale on our website. So, doing a lot in three days. So, come along. All right, so this is approximately the size of the screen. I mean, it's going to be a little fine tuning once we get everything mounted, but I mean, the projector is two feet away from the wall. And this is the size image that we get, which is pretty amazing. Uh, so, you know, a 100 inch diagonal screen might seem either a little small for your space or it might seem a little big. Um, but I encourage you to, you know, when you're, when you're thinking about how big of an image you need, sit in the very back row of your space um, after measuring out what a 100 inch uh, screen size is going to look like on your wall and you be the judge uh, in terms of whether that's going to be big enough or too big. So this is the, uh, sorry I don't know the model number off the top of my head, but it's the Optima Ultra, Ultra Short Throw 4000 Lumen Laser Projector. So we're off on stage left behind the baptistry, which is right there. And we have a floor access here. And we have um, kind of an attic access, and I'll show that to you in a minute. But this does not stay up on its own. I mean, it does have a latch, but I just need to... There we go. All right. I'm not really sure why they have a chair down there, but there looks to be like a control panel right there. So, but anyway, this is a false floor. I mean, it's real enough, but hang on a second. You can see right there that it continues down. Now that space below, that's where the false ceiling is down below. So that's where our cable is going to go but I have to get it through this wall first so because I think that this is going to be the harder side in terms of running cable I'm going to start here and work on this first but I need to uh, see what the lay of the land is up there first so, let's do that. So, this is what it looks like up here. It's 
some old car audio speakers here. They've been arrayed together. That's their main PA right there. And this is that screened opening that we see on the outside. And I'm going to have to poke through right down in there. So, time to do some measurements. All right, so we've um, obviously we have a solid floor here, so we had to drill through that, and we had to drill through drywall, and then there was a header, which is two um, stacked horizontal two by fours on top of each other. So we've drilled through that, and I've put my um, my drill rig all together. And I've run it all the way down the hole as far as I can get it, and there's no horizontal fire block that we can find. So this is a unique system, part of the Magnapole, and this is a very powerful magnet. And the idea is you connect the uh, the cabling. Uh, we're going to tape it so that it you know it's not so flimsy. And then you run it down the hole, or in this case, series of holes. And then there's another uh, roller piece that attaches to the magnet, and we can just pull the cable right down the wall, which is super cool. So that's what we're going to plan to do. And uh, we need to go grab some tape, and then we'll uh, move on. All right, so here we go. I gotta find the other hole. <laughs> You've already run. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we should be able to feed this. There we go. That's hitting, so that's good. <clears throat> okay. With no proper eye protection. Kids, don't do this at home. It helps if you're going the right direction. Oh, really? Okay. On the drill setting. What's this 2x4 made out of? Maybe it's got one of those metal connectors somehow. Uh, maybe. I might be over too close to the joint. You see this phenomenon on my face right now? You know, part of it's covered in sun and part of it's in shade. Well, we're in the northwest and check that out. There's sun! Alright, day two. We are back. It's um, about 10.20 in the morning, and we have an issue. So, let me explain what the issue is. So the drop of the image from the projector is such that the screen would come down to about right there. And that's just way too low. So, we're going to move the projector up about 18 inches and over and so we're actually going to be bolting or screwing into so you see the bottom of this diamond we're going to be going right about there so there is a stud that goes up just off center in in that diamond there so I've got <clears throat> these guys and I'm gonna mount this vertically like this and I've got screws that I'm going to use to, you know, attach this piece to the stud that's there. And then I'll actually screw the projector bracket into this so that it centers um, on that decorative uh, diamond element that you can see there. So that'll take care of that. Um, 
power might be an issue. But we'll see. We will see. I do have some uh, wire mold stuff, but I may have to do diagonal instead of this nice little thing there. I also have some uh, cable clips that can screw into the wall if that's what I need to do. So, we will see. All right, so here you can see that stud that I was talking about. So this stud, let me move that over. This stud is the one that we were actually in. You can see where that Cat6 cable poked through the drywall there, through the bracket. So we're moving it over. And here you can see the back side of the inverted V here. So what I have to do <coughs> is mount this like that. And you can also see that there is some space here. There's a gap. So I'm going to move my 2x6 forward so that it makes up that difference. So something like that. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Time to give you an update. Devin's working on the next projector and the mount. And we have gotten the projector up where it needs to go. Have some wire mold and some uh, cable screw down clamps that are holding up there. I know it's not pretty, but it, it will be behind the screen. So I'm not too concerned about that. So now I need to um, puts the projector mounts on a couple of layers of 2x4 because the power out there sticks out 3 inches almost. So I need to bring the screen out away from the wall to clear that. So that's where we're at. Alright, it's considerably later in the day. It's actually probably getting close to 5. We do have one screen working. And we're working on getting the projector mount and projector and screen going over there. Right there. Which is really weird because you look at it on the camera and it doesn't look like it's that tall. But when you're right down in front of it, it's up there. So that's what we're doing. And we're trying to hustle along because we'd like to get done today. So. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. Okay, it is 9.20 ish <laughs> and we dropped that screen. We had it up, we spent close to what, two hours? I don't know if that Hour and a half? Yeah, it was a long time trying to get the image lined up and it's um, really particular. And we started looking at it, we noticed that the left screen is a little bit lower than the right screen, although I think that the projectors are mounted about pretty close to the same position on either side. So we drop that screen. We're going to raise it up um, maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches. We'll see. Um, but we're just going to call it a day and come back and attack it tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
Okay, well, we got the TV moved over. Let's see if I can move the right direction. There we go. So, now we just got to finish some stuff up in the booth. Um, do a full-on system test. All right, we have stage display working behind me there. And we also took a look at their uh, lighting controller. And the DMX output had unplugged from the circuit board, so that was an easy fix. But we do have both screens working, working. It's awesome. And the pastor's very happy. Yay! Yay! So now I'm going to look at um, two of their wireless mics real quick before we uh, take off, but this is us ready to go. So we'll take a look at that, and Devin and I are out of here. Catch you later. I have my book from Katana. Recording audio.